Hi guys, another lesson of pronunciations. Now today we are going to focus on some of the words that you might be mispronouncing. So let's begin. The first one over here is B R U S C H E W T A. Okay, that is uh, toasted Italian bread, and that is uh, mainly served with tomatoes or uh, garlic. You know, so this is what you how you pronounce it as it's bruschetta okay bruschetta remember i'm pronouncing it once again and write writing the pronunciation over here i hope that makes some sense so whenever you pronounce it next time it's bruschetta okay the next one oh many of you have been pronouncing it very wrong it's basically an italian pasta and it's cooked with mashed potatoes and flour and eggs so you can find out the recipe on the internet i mean i really don't know what it is and because i've never used it or eaten it cooked it but i'm now thinking to make this so it's pronounced as no k no k remember g over here is silent and the pronunciation is somewhat like this it's no k the next one it's a word it's a national dish for vietnamese okay and it's their noodle soup of chicken or beef and is spiced with flavors and herbs so it's spiced with flavors and herbs so it's pronounced as f okay remember it's pronounced as f so try this out i've already tried this this is something very tasty that's um, just a noodle soup and it's seasoned with flavors uh, spices and there are herbs over there it's cooked with chicken or beef you can use any next we have see this is a very easy one this is just a dark green chili the plump one dark green and that's um, from mexico or the southern us so it's pronounced as jalapeno okay sorry i'm landing down jalapeno jalapeno the next one is something very easy this is caramel basically this is sugar and when you melt it and you burn it that gives a brown that leaves a brown uh, color behind it and you know it sticks to the bottom that is basically caramel it's usually mixed with the cream so that is caramel caramel the next one oh okay this is basically a tea and it is a sweetened black or green color and it is used for health benefits it's fermented first and then it is used in the tea and um, to tell you the benefits of it it helps prevent cancer and you can easily lose weight if you drink it on daily basis and it boost up your energy so this is what you call is it as kombucha okay kombucha kombucha something very easy okay so next time whenever you're trying to make some green tea just go with the recipe for it and you know you're going to find it very tasty it's very soothing it's very tasty and above all it's scrumptious malicious anyway moving ahead to a few more four more let's see okay, so the next one on the board is simply cocoa okay the cocoa beans so it's simply cocoa Oh, cool. The very next one, hummus, hummus, hummus. I'll tell you what it is. It is a dish that is made from cooked mash, chickpeas, and it's you know it's a dip or a spread. So. When you have cooked the chick chickpeas and you have mashed it and you have blended it with garlic, lemon, juice and there is something that's tahini 
so when the chickpeas are all mixed with all these ingredients you get a thick spread or a dip that is known as hummus hummus the next one okay this is a very friendly one and um, this might be called an omelette in spanish or it's you know it's a flat naan or a chapati um, or a bread that is made from flour uh, and it is topped with some filling with a savory filling so this is uh, you pronounce it as tortilla see it's tortilla I'm sorry I don't know why I'm sliding down today tortilla it's not tortilla it's tortilla and the very next one that's something very easy it's kefir remember R is silent over here and you pronounce this as kefir now this is a fermented cow milk and some uh, bacteria is added into it and that turns into a sour drinking sour tasting drink okay so this is what you call is kefir and these are also used for health benefits or it's just simply a drink people do it people drink it so it's kefir it's a it's basically a fermented milk cow milk thanks we are going to look at some other food items in our next lessons in our next videos Till then, tata. If you have any questions or if I have pronounced something wrong over here, please do point out the mistake. I'll be very thankful if I'm wrong because I am myself not a native speaker. So thanks a lot, guys, once again. See you.